Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be doing a side-by-side -side and on-feet comparison of the New Balance 990 V3 and the New Balance 990 V4. So the New Balance 990 V3 was released in 2012 and the V4 was released in 2016. So there wasn't too much of a gap between both models. So the differences aren't too great compared to say the V2 and the V3 and the V1 and the V2. But there are still some interesting differences and I really like comparing the 990 line of sneakers. One important thing to note is that although my 990 V3 is a special kit collaboration, I will do my best to just compare general GR aspects of the shoe. If there are any special additions um, on the V3, I won't be taking that into account in the comparison. Starting with the toe box of the shoes, both shoes feature the same materials in the toe box. And that consists of a suede mudguard, um, a mostly mesh toe box, as well as some panels of synthetic nubuck. Both the V4 and the V3 contain a very similar toe box shape with some minor differences. The toe boxes are really similar, but they have some slight differences in the cuts of the nubuck material. For example, uh, the V3's nubuck material is um, only cut near the middle of the toe box area and has a slight cutout of mesh. And the V4's nubuck material kind of surrounds the outer and just has one big hole of mesh rather than a big hole of mesh and a smaller hole of mesh like the V3. Both also feature a single um, panel of small 3M material at the top of the toe box areas. Uh, the Kith collaboration replaces 3M for a different material, but on general release V3s, this uh, low panel of black material is usually 3M reflective material like the V4. Moving higher towards the shoes, both feature suede in the lace eyelets, but one notable difference is that the V3's uh, lace eyelets uh, don't connect near the toe area of the shoe. Instead, there's more of that synthetic nubuck, and the V4's suede lace eyelets are connected with more suede. Another notable difference is the lace shape. The V3's laces are flat, but um, a thicker um, length lace, whereas the V4's laces are also flat, but they are a lot thinner. And I think they're the same exact laces as the V5's as well. The V3's tongue is made out of the mesh material, but at the very top of the tongue is a big panel of 3M reflective material, and it features New Balance USA branding embroidered on it. And the V4's tongue is made up of almost entirely mesh material, but there is a small patch of New Balance Made in the USA branding rather than a full panel of 3M suede at the top. Moving towards the sides of the shoes, they do look pretty similar from the side, but the cuts of the suedes and the nubucks and the patches of mesh materials are slightly different. The most notable difference has got to be the N logo. On the V3, the N logo is a bit smaller and features a kind of rib texture to the N logo, whereas the New Balance 990 V4 has more of a smooth N logo. And they both rest atop of a plastic panel in respective colors. Um, the V3's N logo is usually 3M reflective in general release colorways, but the Kith uh, collaboration just has it in navy plastic. Both shoes also feature an N cap midsole, that's New Balance's proprietary midsole technology first introduced in the 990 V1, but both midsoles are slightly different and have a different design overall. Another area of similarity between both shoes has got to be the back ankle area of the shoes. At the top of both shoes, both of them contain a big panel of 3M reflective material, both with Made in the USA branding printed on top of it. Moving towards the bottom of it, there's a panel of um, synthetic nubuck material on both shoes with a New Balance NB logo on plastic in the middle of it as well and all the way at the bottom is followed by more of the suede, and both also feature a plastic heel cap with New Balance spell-out branding on it. The lining of both shoes are also mesh in their respective colors. Another similarity between both shoes are the insoles, in the sense that they are both standard foam insoles and that there's nothing really special about them. 
The prints and colors of the insoles will vary by colorway and or collab, of course. The outsoles of both shoes contain slightly different traction patterns, but they do look a little similar from a first glance. But the main difference between both outsoles has got to be the fact that the V3 actually features a plate of carbon fiber in the middle, whereas the V4 only features some plastic. I think that's a really interesting difference between both of them. The traction pattern shape ha are relatively the same, and they're both good for lifestyle and even some casual running as well. So now that the side-by-side -side overview of both shoes are out of the way, I'll lace them both up and I'll show you how they both look on feet. So as for fitment and sizing, I'd say both the New Balance 990 V3 and the 990 V4 both fit true to size. I am a true size 9.5 and, and I got both of these in a size 9.5 and, and they both fit me well. But as I always say, if you have the chance to try these on before you buy them, I definitely recommend you do that since everyone's feet are different. And the fact that these are 990 shoes, meaning that you might be able to get them in wider or narrower sizing. So for example, if you usually go up half a size because you have wider foot feet, um, I recommend maybe checking out wider foot sizing with the standard length sizing. As for comfort, both of these kill it in the comfort department. They're they both feature the end cap midsole, and end cap, in my opinion, is the perfect combination of both stability, support, and comfort. Um, it feels great on feet, great for lifestyle wear, and if you run, um, they'd make good running shoes as well. Uh, they're very breathable with the mesh as well. The suede's are soft around your feet, so they don't really take any time to break in either. As for quality, both of these shoes are made in the USA, so the quality is excellent. The suede feel soft to the touch. The Nubucks, the meshes, and the 3M reflective materials also feel great in hand too. And the overall uh, construction of both shoes is also great as well. In my personal opinion, I think the 990 V3 was the first shoe that kind of sparked the the reoccurring design in the current 990 line like I don't know the best way to describe it but the v3 has was like the beginning of the design that um, inspired the v4 and the v5 obviously um, they're the they're the next in line in the in the 990 line but the v3 uh, looks very similar to the v4 and the v5 and even the v6 i feel like the v6 is a big step in a different direction design wise and that's a good thing of course but um in terms of the looks they look uh very similar um uh, the V3, the V4, and the V5, at least compared to the V1 and V2. The V1 and V2, um, most uh, casual fans probably wouldn't even know that they're from the same line as the V3 through V5 because of how different they look and how much older they are. But uh, it's really interesting seeing like the first uh, distinctive design in the V3 and how it inspired the V4 and the V5 and the upcoming V6. So it's really cool to look back on the earlier designs of this amazing line. So which do you guys prefer? Do you prefer the V3 or the V4? I personally can't really choose. They, they in my opinion, are just so similar. I could really go either way. I guess um, maybe the main difference is I kind of like the tongue of the V3 better. I, I like how um, it has that big panel of reflective material on the New Balance branding, and it reminds me of older New Balance models. But uh, like I said, I could really go either way. Um, they bo they're both excellent shoes in every, in every form in terms of comfort and design. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, what's your favorite uh, 990 model? Um, 
uh, I, I really can't choose. They're all really excellent sneakers, and um, I'm still waiting on finding a pair of 990 V2s. My order from New Balance actually got canceled because they were out of stock. They only told me that after like nine days, so that was kind of annoying. But once I get the V2, I'll definitely do a comparison between the V2 and the V1 and the V2 and the V3. So I'll be making a lot of 990 comparison videos, especially before 2022 and the V6 comes out. That model, as I said before, looks very different from the V3 through V5. And I really like the step, the, the different direction they took in that design. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials and I'll catch you in the next one.